Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review video. I love doing random review videos for you guys. You guys always send me random ass things to try out. I get a lot of tweets from you guys saying to try random products out and you guys will tweet me little products and links and things like that and I will totally go out and buy them and try them out for you guys. And I got so many tweets about this little sponge and I was like, it's a little sponge, like why is, why is there a lot of tweets on this? So that was super, super random but I went out and bought it at Sephora. This is the little cake and bake sponge. This is from Veramona. Where did I buy you from? This is Yeah, so this is from Veramona. This is the cake and bake sponge. I bought this on Sephora's website. So I saw this and I'm like a square beauty blender. This is actually really, this is like, this is like a really weird shape. What shape is this? Trapezoid or some type of shit? I was really bad at geometry. So if you guys know what kind of uh, shape this is, let me know in the comments bar below. Is it like a, a rhombus or a trapezoid of some type or a, uh, I know it's not an octagon. So I decided I wanted to review the sponge and I was hearing so many different things about it saying that this is like the best beauty blender type sponge dupe. So I'm like, is this really the world's best beauty sponge of all time? We will see, we'll check it out right now. This is the size of it when I opened it right out of the box. So as always, if you guys don't like this video, if you guys don't like me, please don't fucking watch it. You know the drill with that. But if you guys do like this video, please subscribe to my channel if you are not already. And if you're new, what's up? I'm Manny M.U.A. and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. And yeah, let's go ahead and get into this review on this quote unquote best beauty sponge ever. We'll see. <laughs> okay guys, so first things first, we're gonna go ahead and soak this in water. Actually, let's, let's see what it says. Maybe we don't even need to. How to use wet cake and bake with water until completely saturated, squeezing out excess liquid, pick up liquid or powder makeup products with a top and bottom flat edge and apply to conceal and or bake. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna go soak it. I'll be right back. So I went ahead and I soaked the bad bitch up and I squeezed out all the excess water and this is what it looks like now. It actually really did get so much. Why does this remind me of a fucking cock? Hmm, I don't know why. I definitely, definitely got a lot bigger. The Holy shit, got so much bigger. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try this bad bitch out and see if it works like a beauty blender or not, or if it's even better than a beauty blender. Who knows? No thing. So we're gonna do our normal routine though, guys. We are gonna do primer. Benefit Professional. We're gonna do it all the same routine as usual. So I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I actually bought a new color because I thought the other color was a little bit too dark for me. This is in the shade Shell Ivory. Again, not the best color selection. This is like the one that was closest possibly to me. So I don't know if it's gonna work out or not. We'll see. I just really like this foundation. I've been wanting to give it more tries, but I thought the other one was, <gasps> this looks so white as fuck. Ah! Oh my God, this is so white. Oh my God. Okay, Mr. Cake and Bake Sponge, it says to use it on the tip. <laughs> Just the tip. Pick up liquid or powder makeup products with the top or bottom flat edge and apply to conceal or bake. So I'm gonna be using the flat edge, this part right here where that says to use. And I'm just gonna press it in. It's applying it really, really nicely actually. Holy fuck. I'm sorry, but this can't be my color. I will not fucking allow it. So this is what my face looks like so far with just using foundation. This is what the sponge looks like. I will say that it did apply my foundation pretty fucking nice. Like it didn't take away any of my coverage. It's looking pretty fucking snatched. I'm actually really impressed so far. And I do like the fact that you can hold it like this. Like, I don't know if this makes sense, but I can like kind of grasp it with my finger and press exactly where I want it to be. It's definitely more dense than a beauty blender though because it is a thicker sponge for sure. It's definitely thicker and more intense, but it is very, very soft when it's soaked. And I'm not mad at this whatsoever. Let's do some concealer. And I'm gonna use my classic tart shape tape. Let's see. A little bit. I'm running out of concealer, as you can see. Go underneath. To be honest, I thought the under eye concealer part was gonna be the worst because of the way this is shaped. I'm like, there's no way it's gonna get underneath there. But it's actually going underneath there quite nicely. Like it's going up right to my bottom lash line. And the coverage is still there. It's snatched as fuck. It's blending out perfectly. Oh my god. It's a little hard to get to the inner inner point, corner right here. This part I feel is a little tough to get into. Also another thing I really like about this is that because it is slanted on the edges, you can go like this and like kind of really go up there and clean up the contour on the nose. If you guys want to like kind of highlight the sides of the nose a little bit as well. That's really fucking cool. I will definitely say that. Okay, so far I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I'm usually pretty hard on products when I do full reviews on them. This is actually really impressing me, so Go Veramona. So now I'm gonna take the other side. I'm gonna put powder on it and I'm gonna go ahead and cook or I'm just gonna go ahead and apply powder and see how the powder applies with a sponge. And it applied beautifully. Oh my God. Oh my God. It goes right up to the lash line, which means it goes right up to the wrinkles and creases, which is really, really nice. And then I'm gonna take my face powder. I'm gonna put it everywhere else that I use the RCMA underneath the eyes. And then I'm taking the cover effects for the rest of the face. 
And this is my face completely set. And bitch, that shit is fucking set to the ground. I'm sorry. I can run out in the rain and be good. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna go finish the rest of my makeup and I'll be back soon to tell you guys what my final verdict is on this sponge. Okay, guys, so I finished off my base off of camera really quickly and I just wanted to show you guys one more thing before I give you the final review of what I think about this. I wanna show you guys how easy it is to bake with this. I mean, this is called the cake and bake for a, a good reason. Watch this. Put my powder onto this. And I'm gonna go in with the side that I use the powder on and do my normal baking like I would do like underneath my chin and on my nose. Watch this. Well, okay. If that isn't the easiest thing I've ever done. We're not done. Straight line, easily, okay. Easy as fuck. Okay guys, so final verdict on this Veramona cake and bake sponge. What do I think about it? I honestly think that I love it. I'm honestly really shocked that I like this because I really didn't think I was going to originally. I was, I saw it and I was like, what a gimmick, man. Like that is a gimmick. I'm not gonna like it. I didn't think I was gonna like it at all, but I really, really do. I love that it's like angular. I love that I can bake with it super easily. I love that it actually packs on all my foundation perfectly. I feel like my face looks really, really nice in full coverage and just the way I want it to be. And I'm like, oh my God, this sponge actually worked. And I love the fact that it is soft but it's dense when you put it onto the skin it applies really easily and it applies the full coverage really nicely and it builds up coverage beautifully i actually don't really have too many bad notes about this i wish it was a smidge softer but other than that it's like great i really think it's fucking fantastic it really does work and if you guys want to try it out i would definitely suggest trying it out it's cheaper than the beauty blender as well so it's like hey but yeah guys that's it for the entire video i hope you guys had fun watching let me know what you guys thought in the comments bar below if you guys want me to try out any other new weird ass things i will definitely do so because i love doing weird shit. I love trying weird shit out for you guys. So thank you guys to everyone that suggested me trying this out on Twitter. I'm actually pleasantly surprised and I never would have bought it or even knew about it without you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll leave a link down below if you guys want to check it out. I'm not sponsored by this, by the way. I'm not. I wish I was because I ended up loving it. Damn. But yeah, guys, other than that, have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, you guys. Mwah. So today's video, I actually am excited about. <sighs> I like a triceratops. Give my toes. Fuck. Come on, monkey feet. Work with me. <laughs> These are jade for beauty. It's very phallic looking, you know. I look like I have a crack mouth. I think I don't know what crack mouth looks like actually. Fuck me, I guess. <laughs> Fuck me.